hello guys in this session I'm going to show you how I dockerize a Python lambda function let's start so I have my EC2 instance in that EC2 instance I create a folder and that folder name Python test so let's go to the Python test and check all the all the file that we have inside that so first I have up that pie I have my docker file and I have I create another file name requirements.txt let's check every everything first let's check the app function this is a very simple function so in this function I just uh, print some 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 events some contacts and return a status code 200 and print the body that say fail safe lol so this is the message my function will will show okay so let's check the docker file so this is my docker file so this is where it will get uh, it will go to aws and check uh, the version in the python and i copy my requirement and that requirement this is where we will have uh, all the all the dependencies so pipe this is where we are going to install the dependencies and we will put everything inside the requirement.txt okay and after that uh, we do it so i will put that script and uh, in the description and you can play uh, with your with your labs and you can play with this also and the last thing is the requirement so let's read the requirement.txt inside requirement.txt i just uh, put uh, just a line let's say request but if you want you can just create a, um, a empty file just name requirements so it can be anything it can be require requirements.txt so let's start now we just switch to amazon ECO to create our repository so we are on amazon ECO let's create the repository so we go to create repository it will be a private repository so in that case in that section we will put our repository name it will call python python test and we go down create repository so now we have our repository created okay so now we can click on the repository name and we go to view push comments once we go on view push comment we'll have all the information how to log in okay how to build the docker image how to tag the docker image and how to push the docker image let's go to the ec2 instance and start doing this okay so now we're back to our ec2 instance but uh let's copy now let's copy uh each comment so let's go back to the AWS okay we go and uh, we click on that copy button and we go to the EC2 and we pass it enter the login success oh there is something I missed so we have to configure the AWS uh, access key and secret key so first you have to create the access key and the secret key with all the policies that you need to do that so if not you will not able to do the login so to create uh once you create the the access key and the secret key you can come here and execute the aws configure aws configure uh command and it will ask you for the access key you will add the access key the secret key okay and you will put the region the default region and after that uh you just you can keep that as as it is without any information and enter so that's mean now you can you will be able to access so make sure your policy or you your user has the the access or the policy assigned to it to be able to execute uh, such command to have access to those services for example ecr all the services that you need on in this case okay so now we're done with the login let's back again to the ec2 instance uh, to the amazon ec ecr and now uh, we will uh, execute the f the next command which is the build docker image let's go and build the docker image okay back to our c2 instance 
and we pass it. Okay. So now it will build our image based on the Docker file. It execute everything that we need and done so you put the the tag lattice okay so now let's go back to the Amazon again we copy the tag so the tag is the lattice so this is the information it just show let's go back again and now is a after build complete tag your image so you can push the image to the to this repo so we copy we pass again so this is the tag and we back again and now we will push the image to ECO push preparing push I'm not going to pause the video because this is fast okay so the push is done now we can go to Amazon ECO and check if we have our image in place let's refresh okay this is our image now we can uh, we can uh, we're done with the first part now let's go to Amazon elastic uh, um, lambda function um, to deploy the our docker image our function there is no function let's create our function so now when you when you click on create function you have to choose the last option container image okay we put the name of our function say python test okay and uh, he asks for the container image uri so let's go back so this is why I like to open my let's go back again to the container repository and open it in a new tab so we back there and we click so this is our UI so we click copy the UI and we put the UI there okay this is the only thing that we need and nothing else we don't need any permission anything again so we just create the function we have to put colon and the lattice okay and create function as you can see our function are being created let's wait okay so this um, the Python the Python function is created uh, successfully okay based on the the docker so now we can go and test our function so uh, the function is only uh, show um, a message so let's go to test okay we can have a test event we don't have to create an event anything we can just go to the button there and test it so as you can see status code 200 and this is the this is our message okay so that's all for today thank you please don't forget to subscribe on my channel to have new videos thank you so much